Hi, I'm Mick, and I'd like to talk to you about the Sherman Filterbank 2. Uh, Herman, the designer of this Sherman, has been releasing these since 1996, and over the years they've gone under various hardware revisions. The filter banks are audio effects boxes that distort, shape, and filter any signals that you send into them. They've got this really iconic and characterful sound, and they've got this unpredictable quality where, you know, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get out of it when I start playing with it. The most recent versions have got this nice trick where if you don't plug anything into the input, uh, they start generating noise and they've got a feedback circuit in there as well. So once you have this weird feedback stuff being processed by the distortions and the filters, uh, you get some wild sounds out of it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to record some of these no input sounds, sample them into the Digitats and then try and make some drum kits out of them. Just as a quick basic overview, what you're hearing here is just a DigiTact, just uh, dry. I'm running it in parallel, so I've got it basically on a send effect. Um, so you're just hearing the full effective signal and the dry signal at the same time. I'm just gonna add a bit of input here and you can hear what happens. So it goes from like just a touch of character to full smashing distortion. When I'm processing drums or whatever instrument, I just like to use a little bit, a little touch of it just to add character like this. Just a touch there, it's just adding a lot of movement, a lot of life. I've kind of got this kind of phaser-ish kind of a approach going on here. Turn it off. got a really nice way of adding a lot of life to it. Quick speed for the controls, uh, input volume as you saw there, you've got frequency control of the two filters here, uh, resonance control of the two filters, uh, filter shape which you control with these two knobs here and both of them go from low pass all the way to high pass. You've got an ADSR generator here which can be triggered from an external input or it can be an envelope follower trigger. Uh, you've got an LFO with a speed knob here, you've got a depth control for the LFO here, amplitude modulation, uh, attack release uh, envelope here for the uh, VCA, you've got a tiny verts for the filters and a bunch of switches and all sorts of crap. There's, there's a lot going on. Anyway, this isn't a full demo, I just want to show you one specific thing, which is when you pull out the signal input jack. So what it's doing is it's generating noise and then it's putting that through a feedback circuit which goes back into the input. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a bunch of these crazy sounds and then sample them into the Digitats and see if I can make a nice kit out of it. A very noisy kit. So here what I'm doing is I'm modulating the LFO speed and triggering the envelope follower to modulate the two filters uh, to create these tones because they've got quite high resonance on them. I mean, it's, it's not an exact science, I'm just basically twiddling a knob until I get stuff that sounds cool, really. If you're a sound designer uh, and work in games or just do sound effects design, this is such a cool thing. This is what the harmonic snob sounds like. I'm just basically this is just a oscillating frequency two right now, uh, using a very fast LFO to trigger the AR envelope. But then you can hear what the harmonics does here. So this is free harmonics, and then this is going to fix the harmonics. And you can hear that harmonic series there. It's a really cool retro video game kind of sound out of that. Yes, yeah, so cool. Of course, if you wanted more control over this, you could trigger the envelopes with CV. So I've got PAMs running here. Let's just chuck it thing into the AR here. So it's now being triggered by PAMS. Let's 
get another one into the ADSR as well. Alright, some ports and samples in. So all these sounds are what I recorded on the Showman filter bank when it had no input, nothing going into it at all, just using its noise and feedback circuits. Alright, let's put some of this Showman into the Showman. Cool, yeah, it's a nice little feature that. Um, so the sounds are recorded there. I'm going to put in a link in the description under the video. Uh, feel free to use them for whatever you want. I'm definitely going to be using some of those for, yeah, percussion and sound effects and stuff like that. If you're interested in checking out the filter bank for yourself, head to signalsounds.com. They've got a few versions. There's the, uh, the rack mount ones. There's a double rack mount one. It's pretty cool. I use this desktop one here, and there's also a compact one. Uh, which is super tiny actually, that's cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to know more about me, I've got my links up there and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.